Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in this video, we're going to talk about um, some interesting news here that <clears throat> hemp rebar stronger than steel? Question mark. Um, they say it could start in an eco-friendly movement in building materials. So th there's four articles here that that um, all talk about this, and, and they all talk about the same guy. Is that these um, RPI researchers who d who develop the bars, but um, right here, we'll, we'll just go kind of article by article. Um, can hemp replace steel rebar in some buildings? And uh, the answer seems to be yes. This is uh, February 16th, 2022, but researchers from Rensselaer Polytech Institute in Troy, New York, um, confirmed that hemp rebar could be a suitable alternative to steel in cement construction. So uh, Dan Walzik, W-A-L-C-Z-Y-K, uh, the director of the Manufacturing Innovation Center and professor of mechanical engineering and Alexandro Samas, I guess, S-A-T-S, AMIS, um, the Director of Architectural Science and Ecology Center and Assistant Professor of Architect, Architecture, um, say they have produced an alternative to steel in concrete buildings and various infrastructure progress. Uh, both scientists agree that hemp-based natural fiber reinforcement, reinforced thermoplastic rebar has the potential to displace steel as the most preferred reinforcing technology in a few years. These hemp bars are particularly guaranteed to eliminate corrosion challenges and are more durable than steel bars. And the, the one really interesting thing about um, this first article here is that Walzik um, said that uh, he and his team are pursuing intellectual property to prevent it from being duplicated. Yeah, he, he says uh, the material could be utilized in infrastructure projects that require cement, such as seawalls, pavements, and highway ramps, and reduce some of the construction's um, carbon footprint. So, yeah, they're looking to um, make this a standard operating procedure, basically. Um, right here, th this is interesting, about 150 years ago, before the onset of cannabis prohibition and the criminalization of offenders, hemp was used to produce over 75% of the goods consumed by Americans, right? So, which is why the Environmental Educator Education and Agenda, number five, on the solutions list, way above clean energy is hemp, because it can be used for everything, <laughs> okay? And, and it is just responsible. So, and 150 years ago, it produced over 75% of the goods consumed by Americans. So, um, there are studies at the Rensselaer Polytech and other reputable institutions um, point out that hemp could be a perfect replacement for steel the scientists claim that the plants are a phenomenal crop meant to be mass cultivated on an industrial scale to produce dozens of products, which, yeah, yeah. It, it says, uh, for example, various car parts produced from steel or plastic can alternatively um, be made from hemp. And hemp is much stronger and more durable raw material than steel and plastic. Yes, hemp is stronger than both materials, and products derived from the crop have long-lasting lifespans. You know, for um, concrete, it says concrete doesn't possess internal strength, the internal strength required to stand on its own without support, and uh, that's what rebars do. They are um, sturdy rods, and conventionally they're made from steel, but not for long. So. Um, the newly developed hemp rebars can provide the necessary framework for building and infrastructural construction. They also stress the non-corrosive properties of the rebars. They, yeah, you'll, you'll see it. 
it, it lasts for longer because they don't rust. So right here it says uh, in, in 58, um, graphite was started because it was 10 times more tensile strength, had 10 times more tensile strength than steel and three times its stiffness. But um, so then graphite was used to make carbon fibers. Recent findings of hemp claim hemp fires are much stronger than these carbon fibers. So yeah, hemp, hemp comes out on top again. You know, this, this paragraph here says that, you know, for hemp to be mass produced for day-to-day -day products, you know, industrial tools and components are, you know, going to have to <laughs> be created. You know, we're going to have to, you know, in, invent this industry, basically. But um, it, that is definitely possible. It says hemp can be used to bring multiple high-end products to reality at a far lower cost than steel and other traditional production methods. And at the bottom here, it says, uh, note that steel cannot be replaced entirely in the industry because it remains the best option for producing some substantial items and electrical tools. But in, in a lot of places, it, it can be replaced by hemp, which is now being proven to be better than steel. And in this article here in The Constructor, it says um, industrial hemp is a class of cannabis sativa plant whose fiber is the strongest in the plant kingdom. That That's interesting. So <laughs> that that's the strongest in the plant kingdom. Yeah, give it up for sativa, huh, people? It says here that after undergoing a few, a few reviews and tests, the team expects hemp rebars to be open and recommended for public for buildings within a few years. And yeah, let's get going on this. And um, right here, what were the advantages of hemp over steel rebars? And one of it is they are low cost and non corroding rebars. So they're they're not going to rust out. And this article here in, in labroots.com says that hemp rebar could replace steel rebar used in construction of building, I mean bridges, buildings, roadways, and water dams. It's a safe substitute for steel because it has similar strength to steel and weight ratio. Steel rebar is susceptible to moisture, which can cause corrosion and compromise the building stability, and it can be warped by extreme heat. Hemp fiber is safe, durable, and moisture resistant. A little further down here, they say researchers also believe hemp rebar can last longer than steel and has less or no carbon emissions. And that's, that's very interesting too. And it's carbon neutral. It actually takes carbon in from the air, like with um, hempcrete. It, yeah, it, <laughs> it it's it's just an incredible substance that was used for 75% of the products Americans used 150 years ago. It says here uh, by switching the material used in one object from steel to a Composite of fibers, you can dramatically, drastically reduce the carbon footprint of the building industry because you extend the lifetime of structures. So, hemp construction materials have a great potential to promote sustainability, minimize building costs, and optimize safety structures. So, he also says on the report that concrete structures in the environment with high salt concentration have an expected life of 40, 50 years due to the corrosion of steel-based rebar. So that brings us back to the, the sea walls they were talking about there that, you know, hemp rebar would be much better in. And of course, you know, as with anything that is of great and revolutionary um, <laughs> you know, these people are looking, are pursuing intellectual property to prevent it from, um, being duplicated. You know, this is their research. This is their work. 
Um, they're going to be the leaders in it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're going to protect their intellectual property. That is how serious this is and how big the building industry is and how much this can actually really go to the forefront. So another segment of the more you know people, hopefully, you know, hempcrete will be taken off <laughs> very soon and people will be building hempcrete um, homes and we will be using hemp rebar for a lot of other structures too. So stay tuned, people.